a widening divide within the European Union is emerging as Germany and Spain voice opposition to the bloc's proposal to impose tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles. This unexpected alignment from two of Europe's economic heavyweights, led by German Chancellor Olaf Scholz and Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez, directly challenges the EU's key strategy to curb China's influence in the auto sector. Their stance, underscored by Sanchez's recent visit to China, signals a potential shift in how Europe approaches its complex trade relationship with Beijing. This divergence not only complicates ongoing negotiations, but also highlights the broader tension between economic interests and geopolitical strategy within the EU. Tariff Tensions in the EV Market in early 2024, the EU announced plans to impose tariffs on Chinese EV imports, driven by concerns over Beijing's subsidies for its domestic manufacturers. The proposed duties, ranging from 17.4% to 38.1% depending on the company's cooperation in the EU's investigation, aim to level the playing field for European automakers. Tesla, for example, faces a lower tariff of 9% while Chinese firms like BYD and Geely could see duties as high as 36.3%. These tariffs were introduced in response to a surge in Chinese EV exports, which EU officials argue distort the market by underpricing European manufacturers. Germany and Spain prioritize economic interests. For Germany and Spain, the stakes are immense. Both nations are deeply intertwined with the global auto industry and heavily reliant on trade with China. Germany, home to auto giants like Volkswagen and BMW, shipped 4.6 million cars to China in 2022. As Chinese EV manufacturers continue to grow, Berlin is wary of escalating tensions that could hurt its automakers. Schultz's resistance to the tariffs mirrors his country's broader push to maintain competitiveness and safeguard its position in the global market, even if it means easing trade restrictions on Chinese vehicles. Spain, the EU's second-largest car producer, is also treading cautiously. During his recent trip to China, Sanchez emphasized his desire to attract Chinese investment into Spain's burgeoning EV industry. One of my key goals in this visit is to secure Chinese investments for Spain, he said in a press briefing. By seeking to bolster its domestic supply chains without igniting a trade conflict, Spain is navigating a delicate balance between protecting local industry and encouraging international investment. Before we continue, could we ask a small favor? If you're enjoying the content, please give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to share your thoughts, leave a comment below. Your feedback helps us improve and grow. Thanks so much for your support. Europe's broader trade dilemma. The opposition from Germany and Spain exposes deeper divisions within Europe about how to handle China's dominance in the EV sector. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen has consistently argued that Chinese manufacturers enjoy unfair advantages through state subsidies, allowing them to flood Europe with cheaper alternatives and undermine domestic automakers. The proposed tariffs, as high as 50 percent, are intended to shield Europe's struggling car industry from subsidized competition. However, resistance from member states like Germany and Spain underscores the complex trade-offs at play. Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Christensen has also raised concerns about retaliatory measures, warning that escalating trade barriers could have severe economic consequences. An all-out trade war that blocks each other's products is not the answer for industrialized nations, Christensen cautioned. This sentiment resonates in Berlin and Madrid, where the prospect of retaliatory tariffs could inflict further harm on their economies. Geopolitical Ripples the dissent from Germany and Spain could have far-reaching geopolitical implications. China has long sought to exploit divisions within Western alliances, and the rift over EV tariffs may provide Beijing with an opportunity to deepen ties with key European players. By positioning themselves as moderates in the debate, Germany and Spain are inadvertently playing into China's broader strategy to divide European nations on trade and industrial policy. Sanchez's position is particularly noteworthy given his history of aligning with mainstream EU positions. His recent calls for a reassessment of Europe's approach to China have caught many in Brussels by surprise. This shift, coming from a leader typically in step with EU consensus, highlights just how deeply economic considerations are influencing Spain's foreign policy. Schultz's backing of Spain's position further emphasizes Germany's interest in maintaining stable trade relations with China, even if it means breaking from the EU's hardline stance.
a contentious path forward. With Germany and Spain leading the charge against the proposed tariffs, the European Commission faces a tough road ahead in securing the necessary support to move forward with the plan. To pass, the tariffs must win approval from at least 15 EU member states, representing 65% of the bloc's population. Given the significant weight Germany and Spain carry in both economic and political terms, the proposal's future is uncertain. Should the tariffs fail to gain enough support, the Commission may be forced to either scale back or abandon the measures altogether. This internal division poses a serious challenge to von der Leyen's broader strategy. Balancing the protection of European industries with the desire to maintain open trade relations with China is proving to be a delicate task. As more member states voice concerns, the EU may need to reconsider its approach to managing its economic relationship with China. Germany's trade with China remains robust, even amid shifting geopolitical dynamics. In 2023, trade between the two nations totaled around 253.1 billion euros, cementing China's status as Germany's top trading partner for the eighth year in a row. However, the trade deficit continues to widen, with Germany importing significantly more from China than it exports. By early 2024, this dynamic began to change, with Germany's imports from China dropping by 11.7%, while exports saw a slight 1.1% dip. Spain's trade relationship with China has experienced significant growth in recent years. In the first half of 2023, bilateral trade between the two countries reached approximately 26 billion euros, with Spain importing around 22.3 billion euros worth of goods, mainly capital equipment, electronics, and automobiles. On the export side, Spain sent approximately 3.7 billion euros in goods to China including key products like meat, ores, and industrial equipment. This trade imbalance reflects China's position as Spain's largest non-EU trading partner, while Spain is China's sixth largest partner within the EU. Looking ahead, both nations are keen to deepen their economic ties. Spain is actively promoting Chinese investment in sectors such as technology, pharmaceuticals, and green development. Spain has also seen over 790 companies, including prominent firms like Inditex and Repsol, establish a presence in China. As of early 2023, these businesses have invested over $4 billion in various industries such as finance, energy, and telecommunications. Additionally, the launch of Alibaba's new e-commerce platform in Spain highlights the growing influence of Chinese companies in Spain's consumer market. This strengthening of economic ties between Spain and China comes at a time when Germany and Spain's resistance to EU tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles reflects the complex trade-offs between protecting European industries and maintaining vital global partnerships. As the EU deliberates on how best to navigate these competing interests, it must carefully balance the demands of safeguarding its domestic industries while fostering international trade. That's a wrap for this video. We truly appreciate you tuning in. If you found the content helpful or inspiring, We'd be grateful if you could show your support by liking the video and subscribing for more updates. Your engagement means the world to us. Feel free to check out another video from our channel, which is now on your screen.